a day in a life. I just got the force, I figure a good test would be how to sync this machine up with other machines, namely the MPC. Check it out. The MPC and the force are quite different. The MPC is pattern based, the force is clip based. Ah, Courtney is here. Finally. It's a random project. I figure me and Courtney can work on it just to test these machines out, see how they sync together, how they work together, see if that's even possible. Alright, Ableton Link on MPC, Ableton Link on Force. So we're going to start out doing the drums on MPC. Why not? The Force can do drums also. Alright, so I can now press menu. I can press browser. Uh, press expansion, that thing at the top, next to the red. Now you know I gotta load yeah. up the repository and my Masada Cycle Kit drums. I can't start on the beat without them. Yeah. Oh no. I'm sorry. Press this one. This one. Yeah. Okay. Right. Now press it. Press any of them. Load. Yeah. As you can see, the Forces interface is very similar to the MPC X and MPC Live. Although there are some graphical differences throughout the UI. Note Shift gets us into the progression screen where we can load our Masada MIDI progressions. Sounds so beautiful. Courtney's plotting out her moves. So far, everything seems to be syncing up pretty well with the MPC. So, the Force and the MPC work pretty well together, in my opinion, anyway. More progressions. this machine does to progressions my progressions it seems to add extra notes or something but I don't know it could be all in my mind but so far I'm really feeling it Machines playing well together. The Ableton Link is performing like a champ. to find out this is the wrong way to do it but it's beta testing yeah go ahead and there you go now it's recording okay all right da -da 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 -da
Delta Force, a standalone clip based production unit with touchscreen and 64 pads. It has 8 touch sensitive Q links and 8 screens to display what's on those Q links, similar to MPCX. To the right of the machine, you have 8 clip launch buttons and record and function buttons to the bottom. You see the cross feeder above. Here you have your main control panel where you have shift, navigate, uh, stop, record, uh, mixer, save, load, things like that. 7 inch touchscreen with jog wheel, A and B assigned, clip select, row, and record. To the left you see ARP, you see mute, solo, record arm, you see note, you see launch. Here's the main menu. You have matrix, step sequencer, uh, your sampler screen, your sample edit, you have your mixer, you have your Ableton control, you have four CV gateouts, four outputs, you have your MIDI in, out, through, you have your gain, mic pre's with phantom power, you have your USB hub, and you have an Ethernet jack. While both of these machines have different workflows, you can get them to work together pretty well. So you guys are in the hip hop and you guys who are in the dance or EDM, y'all can work together. Oh. And there's also an SD slot on the front of the machine where you can find headphones and cue mix now. Should an MPC user buy a force? If you like clip based production, maybe you should. The Force is not an MPC, so don't expect it to be. Last but not least, a side by side comparison of the Force, the Live, and the MPCX. Alright, guys, that's all I have. Respect. Oh, yeah, I want y'all to know Masada Cycle Kits most definitely work in a new Akai Force including the world's largest MPC expansion, the repository. And once you load it up, the force will go into a special notes mode where you can you play those notes on the pads. And by pressing shift note, go to progressions, you will also see if you have the Masada Cycle Kit progressions, they also work inside of the force. One feature I really love about this is the ability to load up a kit and have it fill up all the pads. So say we go to our Masada Cycle Kit Volume 1 right here, right? So we just press load. All right, so what you're seeing now, instead of one kit loaded on one bank, you're seeing the kit loaded across four banks. So you can access all your kits at one time. And still color code it like it is in the MPC. And, and it still cycles just like it would in an MPC. I can't tell you how great of a feature this is. I can access all my songs at one time now. There's a project live set which will load up in Ableton Live. We want to bounce MIDI tracks, include program volume settings, bypass program effects plugins. And we can come here and set the bit depth and the audio tell length. I'll put mine on zero. Now we just press export and that's it. Just take a flash stick. And as you can see, everything loads up. 